Hi, the Beetlejuice Hopper. Who I'm using? This is a Camasan. It's a B160 size 10. Shanks equivalent to a size 12, but the gapes a size 10. Now you can tie this fly in whatever size you would like. I mean, depending on the size of the beetles, but you can go really down and you can come up. You just have to reduce the materials that you're using. Thread I'm using. I'm just using the Uni Thread 80 in black. So you simply start. Thread of the eye. I'm just going to take it halfway down, and then I'm going to tie in. Now you could use fine gold wire or even green wire if you want, which will help enhance the colour a bit. Now I'm just going to tie in the gold wire just for a couple of turns. Then I'm going to use this is number 14 peacock and orange mylar, and this is this is from Uni as well. You'll see the colour there. It's actually orange on the other side. Now I've cut a length off. Now when you tie this on, basically you want to see the orange side. And all I do is put my finger on the side, come round with the thread, and then bring it underneath. The thread turn will do that, and I'll just pull it in a wee bit. And then you carry on down until... You can go, you can go slightly around the bend if you want, depending on whatever you like. Now I'm just going to slightly around the bend. Now I've got some peacock kettle. There you go in black. Now it's not pure black as you can see, it's got that green hue off it which you get with the peacock kettle. Now I want about three strands is enough. Just gonna line the ends up. This is the tips. And then scratch it full length of the body. And then take it up. And I'm going to wind it the opposite way, I actually wind my rib on. And the rib has always got to go the way the thread has been turned. Especially if that's protecting the body, in this case it is. Don't wind your hair the normal way and then bring your wire the opposite to where you wind your thread. It'll, it's too weak, you've got to do it this way because it's much stronger. Now, all I do is come across the hair and do a turn on the thread as well. Cross the herald and one on the thread, the other hook. And then remove the excess. Then I'm going to bring round the flash. Just bring it underneath. Just make sure the green side is showing through. Just bring it up against the thread. And then you can do a couple of turns. Now, I'm just going to check, you can see there, where it's sitting. You just got that nice flash coming from it. Now you could use Peril or whatever, a translucent, you could use Mirage, again that would work. But this Peacock Green is really good, it's really nice. And then bring your rib up through, around about four turns is plenty. Now the wire is like a small, don't go any heavier, heavier than small. You go extra small and it will still be okay, as long as it's strong enough to hold and protect the Herald body. Tie it down and come back. Now basically that's your beetle type body there. Now we're ready for our wing, our first part of the wing. In this case it's, what this is, is dyed deer hair, dyed black obviously. And this is belly, the belly deer hair. Now all I'll do is take off, there, I'll cut out a few fibres. This is just like a small part of a hog. Here's a nice wing. And then I'm going to stack it. Now you could use a synthetic fibre at this point, you could use like arrow wing, dyed black arrow wing or something. Uh, but I'm just going to stick to the deer here. Now just put into the stack and line up the ends. And you see there's a cut end there, so I'm just going to take it and remove it away. That's the length I want, it's just to the bend, the back of the hook. So I hold that in my finger and thumb and cut away the excess. Then I'm going to tie it on top, keeping it nice and tight and tidy. Now make sure you've got wax on your thread, it's got plenty of grip. 
Now, I'm going to repeat this, but to separate the wing, we tie in, in this case, I'm going to tie in some peacock, black peacock. This is called Diamond Bright. You see, it's a perfect colour for to suit this. So you're adding a bit of synthetic fibre. Now, I'm just going to take some of the dubbing off. Now, we nearly forgot this. I like to put my legs on before that. Now, the legs are pre knotted pheasant tail fibres. Here we are. Now, you can buy them like this now. Now, these are obviously dyed black. Now, all you do is bring the fibres 90 degrees from the actual the stem of the, the feather. And these will line up for you easily. There's the ends, they're all lined up. And once they've lined up, I tear them from the, the feather and then separate them. The three either side. Now what we do is get a length first, just bring my thumb in. So I'm holding the fibres apart. So there's three either side. Now, you could have them as long as you like, but do you want them just slightly by slightly longer than the wing itself. Hold them there and then come around with two or three turns to hold. Now at this point you can check to see how they're sitting. And that's fine. Now you've got to remember this is this is a terrestrial meaning it's and basically a fly or a, in this case a beetle getting blown onto the water. But this pattern will give a great impression of a few flies on the water. And certainly that's why it's worth dying. Now we're back to our diamond bright, the peacock black. I'm just going to dub it on. Nice and light. Dub's very easy, this material. Now you could easily mix it with some other seals fur or some other dubbing just to spread it out, but I want the, the main colour on. Now if you look at the way it's sitting just now, that's a good pattern itself, just as. If you run a hackle there in front, this I got a pattern you could finish it that. But I'm gonna go a wee stage further. I'm gonna put some more deer hair on. Just remove it from the patch of fur. First thing you do is remove the fine under fur with your fingers and thumb. And again, into the stacker, tip first. Tap onto your desk. The ends have all lined up. You hold them in your finger and thumb. And then get the length again. Now you don't want them too long because you are representing like more a, a kind of beetle. Now for the, this would be a good pattern as well. For the shield beetle, you could add more legs, you could add a wee bit of red or orange legs here. Now we've basically formed the wing and we're ready to bring out some of the fine or the diamond bright just by getting your velcro this makes a difference, so just be careful with the legs though, just take your time because the velcro will actually catch the legs and burst them just bring out a wee tiny drop you'll see the, the green, and I'll turn this round so you can see it much much better, and you can see the flash underneath as well and then we're going to finish off with the hackle now this is a, a furnace hackle and it's got a nice dark centre down the bottom here, and this is what the what bit, the piece I want to use. These are the feathers, the small feathers at the bottom of the saddle. In this case, it's a Mets Grade Two. Now, what I'm going to do is pull back some of the fluff, catch it on the side, and draw it back. So I've got it with a single turn, and then I'm folding the hackle back, building this up, taking the thread up, just basically tidying things so that it sits better. Now I want a good few turns in there so I've got a good mill, mill and a half there of an area to wind the hackle. Now the first thing we're going to do is fold the hackle, just bring it through your fingers and you'll see how it's folded all the way around. You just, all you do is put your finger and thumb on and then you bring the feather through your fingers and down and that there will fold it for you. And then the first turn you do a Basically make sure the fibres at the bottom are to my side and then you bring it around and you're winding on this edge doing a turn in front of the other, just slightly stroking the fibres back as you go. Now when, you, when you're going to fish this fly, keep it 
with the full hackle at first. Now if you want it more flat on the surface then you've got to trim it underneath. Now there's about three or so turns here. Just take your time. Go across for two or three turns towards the eye, draw back the point of the feather and basically tuck it back so that it's never going to pull out. Now I usually just break this off and then come in and whip finish. And there we are. And then trim it away, your thread. And you can bring your hackle back out because you have drawn it back. And there we are. And that's basically your, well, we call it like the beetle juice. Plenty of juice, plenty of colour and light in there. And uh, it's a good popper pattern. It's a good all round fly that's certainly worth having a, a cast, or worth having in your box anyway. Now, as I say, you can always, what you have to do, you can either trim away underneath the hackle, gets it a wee bit flatter, but I would certainly, I would keep it the way it is first. And tie, this is, a, this as I said, is a size 10 B160, but it's equivalent to a size 12. You want to tie smaller sizes. You can tie the bigger sizes as well. And as I said, with a red leg on it, or an orange leg or something, you, you'll certainly get an, give an impression of the shield beetle, which is a, it's a fly, that, or a beetle that certainly goes on our waters on a few other waters and the fish do like them. Then all you've got to do is finish off some varnish all the way around. And there we are. And that's the Beetlejuice Hopper. <laughs>